Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here then welcome, my name's Chloe. So today's video is going to be a tutorial of this makeup look here, and for this look I have used the Be Perfect uh, Stacey Marie Carnival palette, um, I've used a couple of shades from the uh, MAC Cosmetic Rust Stack, and for my eyeshadow um, base uh, for my smoky eye I've used the Vive Mahogany Eye Wand. For any of the products that I've used on my face today I will pop in the description box below for you as well as my social media handle which is at Chloe Cage with two e's where you can find me on TikTok, uh, Twitter and Instagram. Please let me know uh, below if there's any other videos that you'd like to see from me. Thank you so much for clicking on to another one of my videos and I'll see you on the next one. Bye! Hi guys, so all nice and zoomed in now. So I have put the Benefit uh, Cakeless Concealer down as my base, but from my video before you can see where I used um, a green sort of eyeshadow and pigment and things because it's just stained my eye. Um, so we're just going to go over the top of it and do this sort of really smoky brown, um, really lashed out look. I'm just going to start by taking this um, Vive Mahogany Eye Wand and just pop it all over my eye. This is quite um, a purpley brown, as you can see, um, but I'm just going to pop it on all over. And just like that, and then I'm going to take this Made by Mitchell ME10 brush just to blend it out. So I've only set my eyes lightly with a bit of powder, um, just because I was going in with this sort of creamy product on top. Um, but I'm just making sure that this is nice and blended out on the edges because I don't want any harsh lines uh, for when I go in with my powder eyeshadows as well. So I'm just swapping to this um, smaller brush just to get more of a controlled blend on this um, inner part here. I don't want to bring it too far out that way. So I'm literally just um, blending it back and forth and sort of um, wiping off a bit of the excess onto um, a bit of kitchen towel. And then I'm just taking my uh, MAC 217 just to do a general blend over the top as well. So I find that the product um, can get into the bristles of the ME10 brush, uh, so I'm just making sure that it's all nice and blended to a point where I can just sort of go in with um, shadow on top. So with these eye wands, you can just wear them by itself, like you can just sort of blend this out and um, you're, you're fine, uh, but I am just going to go on top with some shadow, deepen it up um, and set it. So I know this is quite a neutral look and I made sure that I didn't pick up the um, Jeffree Star Orgy palette, so I am using the Be Perfect uh, Carnival palette. Uh, I believe this is the first 
of the Stacey Marie palettes that they had. Um, so this is what it looks like. I mean, she's come a long way since since this. This is a nice palette, but there are some shades in here that I haven't even touched. Um, her later palettes are, I do think they're much better. Um, but I am just going to be taking these two shades here. So I'm going to take Rowdy first, um, and then I'll blend that out with Basic. So I'm just taking Rowdy um, just around the outer parts of... Um, this mahogany eye wand just sort of stamping it around and then I will uh, go in and blend it I want this to be quite a blown out smoky brown look so I'm not being very precise like when I do a cut crease I'll sort of stamp it on and really uh, closely blend it with this I'm just sort of popping it on and using the uh, winter wiper motions to blend it and then sort of pull it out further and then just going back in with that pencil brush just to blend it. Then I'm just taking that basic shade and blending over the top with this um, fluffy Morphe brush. So I do need some suggestions for any sort of um, series to watch. Um, Jake and I have just finished Umbrella Academy season 3. Um, we're going to watch volume 2 of Stranger Things but I think that's only two episodes so we'll probably finish that this weekend. Um, we are currently watching Lucifer. Um, I think we're on season 2 but that's something that we just sort of put on when we're not quite sure what, what to put on and we'll sort of talk over it or... or um, We'll sort of put it on when we're eating or something. We are currently watching, um, I think it's called Halo. Um, they've made a series based on the video game and Jake is just obsessed with Halo so of course he wants to watch it. Um, but I think there's only four episodes in that. Um, so yeah, I need some things to watch. I mean, we've got Prime, Disney+, Plus, um, Netflix, and we've got Sky. But we're just, you know, when you just sort of, you, it takes a lot to get into something and decide to watch something from, from the start. Um, but yeah, I, I do need some suggestions because I have just finished Rookie Season 4 as well. I feel like I'm finishing so many series and I'm not have, I don't have anything lined up. So with that Be Perfect palette, there's not really any lighter shades to go in with. And usually I'd go in with like a cream or something to blend towards my brow bone. But um, the those lighter shades, they're shimmers and I don't want to use those. So I'm going to head into my Melt Cosmetics um, Rust Stack. And I'm going to be taking the shades Blur just here and Classic just here. So I'm just taking Blur and blending that over the top of basic um, and just really dragging it out. I, I do think that blur is the perfect shade name for this because it does just blur out um, any sort of mistakes you've made with your eyeshadow um, and just makes everything blend so nicely.
and then a bit of classic just to take right up to my brow bone um, and just blend around. So I'm just going back into those shades now just to deepen them up a bit. So this is my third look um, that I filmed today. Um, so I wasn't really feeling a cut crease, I wanted to do something that was quite quick and easy because it's sort of coming up to five o'clock um, and I know that I've got to go cook tea and, and things like that. So um, yeah, I just was trying to think of a, a quick and easy look to do um, that of course people would, would want to watch um, and I haven't really filmed sort of like a smoky brown matte look um, on my channel so I thought I'd uh, give that a go and I thought I'd pair it with um, a big lash, I've got my 666 lash from Unicorn Cosmetics and my Norvina uh, lower lash and I'm unsure what sort of lip to do with it. I think I'm going to um, do the rest of my face and then see what looks okay. So I'm just taking that basic shade um, and popping it all over the lid. Just because I don't want um, the lid to be a very dark um, brown. Because I'm going to be going in with a black. I'm just gently patting that in and blending um, with that rowdy shade. And it sort of sets that eye wand as well. Um, so for my top lash line just here, I'm going to smoke it out with a bit of the Bad Girl Bang black uh, pencil. So I'm just running that across the lash line. Then I'm going to take my little Eco Tools brush and I'm just going to smudge that. Then I've picked up a bit of Rowdy just to blend with it. Okay, I've just popped some concealer on my um, under eyes. So I'm going to be taking that uh, Black Bad Girl Bang pencil and just running that into my waterline. and a little bit below as well. Back in with that Eco Tools brush. Then over the top with some Rowdy.
and a bit of basic. So I did want to put something on the inner corner, um, so I'm just taking the highlight shade in the palette, um, this one here called Sinner. I don't think I've ever used uh, this shade as a highlight, um, but I thought I'd pop it on the inner corner to see what it looked like. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop on some of my lashes, I'm going to do the rest of my base and then I'll be back to show you the finished look. Hi guys, so this is the finished look. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this tutorial. I did decide to go with a nude lip. I just wanted it to look very neutral. Um, I thought that a red would have been too intense. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel before you leave and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!